Hello guys, it's Beko right here, so welcome on my another video. So today I'm gonna show you uh, the short test of my uh, Zalman VF3000 series cooler, uh, which I'm running on my uh, GTX 580. Uh, as you can see, the idle temperature of GPU is 33 Celsius degrees. Maybe here you will see better, it's the GPU 32 and the uh, cooler is running at the lowest speed it is attached to my fan controller so now it's spinning roughly about 1400 rpms as this is the lowest speed of this uh, this cooler so I will speed it up up to the maximum as you can see it's very very noisy it's not acceptable but anyway I'm running this all the time on the lowest settings and the card staying cool. Uh, I told you in my previous video that I don't like the green color as my whole you know case inside and the coolant is red. But anyway, I have to live with this and I'm quite happy as you know the noise level is very low and the card is very cool. <coughs> so <coughs> what I will do now I will minimize this and we'll run the 3D Mark Vantage. Uh, give me a second, maybe I will run one test and options graphics test. Let's run this one. Let's switch off the CPU and the future tests. Just to give you the rough idea <coughs> how cool this card is. My ambient temperature is 19.2. Celsius degrees, as you can see, is in so 19.3 in my room now, <coughs> and we will see what temperature I can get. You know, running the uh, 3D Mark Vantage. I mean, I know, but I will show you. Yes, Daddy is making video. Okay, give me a second. All right. Okay. Okay. So the three mark is starting. I've tried to overclock this card, and I could get 900 megahertz on the GPU uh, with 1.1 1 .1, uh, volt uh, volts on the GPU. Easy, fully stable. But I will try to overclock the the card, you know, more later on, and hopefully I can get better clocks. So as far we got 36 degrees running this test <clears throat> 49 50 and all on the lowest speed yeah so to be fair I will put the side panel I forgot about this sorry I will put the side panel panel on Okay, so the side panel is on. And remember that my fans in my case they're all spinning at the lowest speed. Only the, the front you know, front fan 230 is running at the highest speed, it's running spinning roughly about 700 rpms. Pardon me, so it's very quiet. And it's running on the highest settings. Okay, so 54 ambient still 19.7, a little bit warmer, and you can't hear this cooler on this card, which is very, very quiet. Okay, 56 now, 57. Of course, this is the performance test, the standard one. Still 57, nothing more. Let's focus. Yeah, hope you can see it. 58 now. Ooh, getting hotter. 59. Still 
60 for a while. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Flash player. Whatever. Right. So as you can see the maximum was 60 just only for a while. I will yeah. 60 that was the maximum. But for most of the time was 58, 59 degrees. So the card of course is not overclocked now, it's just standard clock 782 and 4000 on the memory and uh, the, as I told you the fan is, the cooler is, is working on the lowest settings. So I am strongly recommend this cooler to anyone who is using those cars, 580s, 570s. It's very efficient, very quiet, very, you know, it's cooling the car properly and you'll see the big difference so thank you for watching and see you next time